It's a biggie beat. Cyberspace is real, and so are the risks that come with it. It's the great irony of our information age. The very technologies that empower us to create and to build also empower those who would disrupt and destroy. In short, America's economic prosperity in the 21st century will depend on cybersecurity. And this is also a matter of public safety and national security. Indeed, in today's world, acts of terror could come not only from a few extremists in suicide vests, but from a few keystrokes on the computer, a weapon of mass disruption. It's now clear this cyber threat is one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. It's also clear that we're not as prepared as we should be, as a government or as a country. This status quo is no longer acceptable, not when there's so much at stake. We can and we must do better. It's that my administration will pursue a new comprehensive approach to securing America's digital infrastructure. Protecting this infrastructure will be a national security priority. I'm creating a new office here at the White House that will be led by the cybersecurity coordinator. Because of the critical importance of this work, I will personally select this official. I'll depend on this official in all matters relating to cybersecurity. And this official will have my full support and regular access to me as we confront these challenges. To ensure that federal cyber policies enhance our security and our prosperity, my cybersecurity coordinator will be a member of the national security staff as well as the staff of my National Economic Council.
new kind of warfare is on the rise. The U.S. president addressed cybersecurity on Friday, admitting the limits of U.S. government and military agencies to counter hacking attacks. To the rescue, a cyber czar, one man to oversee and coordinate internet security efforts. But who's the enemy behind the computer screen? Well, the problem with doing something like this is that you have to have a threat, and uh, the threats aren't well defined. Well, internet users across the board are really asking themselves, is this slowly but surely becoming a culture of surveillance? Now, the debate becomes, is this a national security issue, or is this a way for the federal government to really snoop on internet users to look at what they're reading, what they're watching, what they're sharing? Now, interestingly enough, there's a bill that's making its way through Congress, and if this bill is going to be successful, it would basically result in a major power shift over the internet from private users, private companies, big and small, to the federal government. So the government would have unprecedented power over the internet. Now, the government always does this in the name of protecting uh, people and ends up uh, uh, snooping and getting over-regulating and that sort of thing. One more position in a government whose expansion is far from virtual. With all the SARS he's appointing, it makes one wonder whether Obama is trying to build an imperial family. So could his new cyber SAR be the one that's given free reign over the internet?